The Heart Research Institute working to beat heart disease. Heart disease is our biggest killer. On average, around 150 Australians die of heart disease every day, and a far greater number suffer pain and disability. The Heart Research Institute is a leader in the fight against this tragic waste of human life. They cannot continue their life-saving research without our help. This Valentine's Day, please buy a $2 heart to support their annual Heartthrob appeal. The $2 will go directly to vital research that will help you and your children in the future. You'll find these displays at newsagents and chemists throughout New South Wales. Your support will help the Heart Research Institute beat heart disease. Let's peek into his mind and see how he would handle this situation. John doesn't know it, but there's a real problem coming up. Oh, is the uh, the white okay with you? Sure. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, cheers. Oh, uh, look, the, the the drink's right in. Uh, use your right hand. Re reach out straight. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Put, bring the left out. Um, not, not quite there. Excuse, That's the excuse. cheese. Yeah, a bit, uh... No, let me help. Let me help. You you take your right hand and go straight in front of you. No, no, no. The left. The left hand. No, it's, it's neither bread. No, no, the, the, the cheese. Pardon, pa pa pardon. Pardon. Look, pardon. look, look you, no, you can't, you can't talk. No, 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 like you're that. you, you don't just understand. understand. No, I, look, I understand. I'm, I'm been talking to this guy for two days. No, I understand you, totally. You do everything no, 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 I'm sorry. That's not no, no, how no, no, you, you do it. No, 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 you don't. You He's got to reach it. out. You've got to you be very clear in your instructions, right? You don't reach out. During all the confusion, Matt's helped himself. Gentlemen, would you like to order? Oh, yes, I'll have the antipasto, please, as an entree, and then the fettuccine marinara. And what would he like? Oh, well, he'd, uh, he'd like, uh, well, I'm, sh I'm sure I'd he'd like... I'd like the tortellini boscaiola, thanks. Okay. And something more I can get you to drink? Oh, no, no, I'm right, thanks. I'll just stick okay, with the And what light. about him? Well, he... Like, why don't you ask him yourself? He can talk, you know. I'm fine, thank you. Since those days, the guide dog associations have become world leaders in mobility training for people with visual disabilities. You probably noticed that I talk about people with visual disabilities rather than blind people. This is because the word blind tends to categorise all people with visual disabilities as having no sight at all, whereas 97% do have varying degrees of vision and every individual is different. We will never get along without the guide dog, as there's no technological development to surpass the animal's versatility and dedication to the task. Guide dogs will always play a vital role in mobility. Guide dogs are trained for 16 weeks, and after this, the user and guide dog undertake four weeks of training together. Both then are assessed to ensure compatibility. This is most important because they must live and work as a team for anything up to 10 years. I was surprised to find that there's such a wide variety of services offered and each training program is tailored to suit the individual's needs. If someone needs an interpreter, the guide dogs will arrange one. Aboriginal orientation and mobility instructors service both the Koori and non koori communities. The association also works with other agencies to provide the best service for clients with multiple disabilities. For our young people, the pressure is really on. Pressure to get a job, pressure to fit in, do drugs, drink. It doesn't let up. In police youth clubs, a team of police and citizens are fighting the effects of this pressure. But it's only community support that funds police youth clubs, and with your help, will win. Support your police citizens youth club. It could be just the lift our young people need.
In 1919, Quota International was formed by a small group of professional and businesswomen. Today, there are Quota clubs around the world sharing in their vision. Quota raises millions of dollars for hospital equipment, food and housing for abused and homeless people around the world, and provides support for cancer research, scholarships, student grants and vital medical information systems. Quota also has a long-term involvement with projects for the deaf and hard of hearing. Here is your chance to be part of this great vision by joining a Quota Club. You will gain friends, have fun, develop your professional and personal skills and have a chance to make an impact on your community. One did laugh in sleep and one cried murder! They did wake each other, I stood and heard them. But they did say their prayers and address them again to sleep. There are two lodged together. One cried, God bless us, and our men the other. As he had seen me with these hangmen's hands, listening their fear, I could not say our men, and they did say, God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could not I pronounce our men? I had most need of blessing in our men, stuck in my throat. These deeds must have been thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. He thought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep. For many people, life is falling to pieces through long-term unemployment, family breakdown, sexual abuse, homelessness, chronic poverty. At Adelaide City Mission, we are helping put the pieces back together. Help us care. Send your donation to Adelaide City Mission, 125 Carrington Street, Adelaide. Sydney is a vital city, constantly growing and changing. Since World War I in particular, many residents of Sydney have opted to live in single-storey detached houses, frequently located far from their place of employment. Because of the pressure this low-density detached housing has placed on land resources, Sydney has now grown into one of the most widely spread urban areas in the world. Would you like to earn two grand in the hand a week? Good day, love. My name's John, and I work for Mission Bay. I think you better come with me. Come on, love. Take it easy. Metropolitan Sydney is a lasting reminder of the 1988 bicentenary, the 100 hectare bicentennial park at Homebush Bay. The opening of the park was a fitting choice to start the year-long celebrations because whilst that glorious party of nationhood is fading from memory, Bicentennial Park has become a magnificent sanctuary in our city. 600,000 visitors each year come to enjoy the relaxing parklands with its picnic facilities and grassy slopes, or to leisurely cycle around the nine kilometres of pathways. Others prefer to be more active and engage in healthy outdoor exercise. 
What is it that attracts all these thousands of people to Bicentennial Park? I like the natural fauna on the floor in it, actually. It sort of keeps it, preserves the Australian atmosphere in it. You can do lots of things outside and learn about the environment. It's really good. It's a nice place to come with the family and have a good time. It used to be a tip here. It's all gone and it's a beautiful scenery here. It's a beautiful park. Just a great area and it's a really relaxing environment too. I mean, you're right in the middle of wetlands. Where do you get that in the middle of a city? The people of Sydney should know about this place because it's an excellent place. This Christmas, many families will have empty cupboards and their children will have nothing. At the checkout of every Franklin supermarket, you'll find Mother Hubbard's coupons of care. They're your way to help the Smith family care for children this Christmas. Buy one with your groceries and Franklin's will send the money straight to the Smith family. If you give, the Smith family can give. Show you care for children this Christmas. Nicole has almost no hearing. She can't talk or communicate as you and I do. However, there is a program that will teach Nicole to listen and to be able to talk to her friends. Let's help children like Nicole. Come on, send a donation today. Post your donation to the Royal New South Wales Institute for Deaf and Blind Children, 361 North Rocks Road, North Rocks. Hello, John. How's it going? Can I come in? Uh, yeah, all right. Thank you. If a probationer fails to meet the conditions of a good behaviour bond or a probation order, the supervising officer is required to notify the court. Typical reasons for breakdowns in supervision are a conviction for a further offence, failure to report as directed or to follow reasonable directions. Well, come on, Max, this is my parole officer. Look, I've got to have a chat with her. Come on, man, can you just have the room for a minute? And you can turn the TV off on your way out, please. Thank you. Uh, right. Um, can you take your sunglasses off, please? What for? Um, well, I feel uncomfortable with you wearing them. Thanks. Um, remember when you were placed on probation at court? and you came to my office, I explained to you that I wanted you to report on a, a regular basis, once a week, mm -hmm. and um, that if you had any problems in getting into the office, all you needed to do was give me a, a ring and um, we could have come to some other arrange, arrangement, because I'm a fairly reasonable person. Yeah, well, look, I've been looking for a job. I've been out looking for a job and I haven't had time to do it. OK, but look, you've missed two appointments and um, I'm not here to discuss your problems. I'd like you to come into the office without fail, tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, but look, look, I was out looking for a job and, and my missus left me. And I've been running around looking for her. I don't know where she is. She's got a lot of my stuff. Okay. And I've just had a lot of hassles. I, I've had a lot of, a real lot of hassles. Well, that may be the case, but um, we can discuss all of that tomorrow. The thing is, you've breached your probation conditions by not reporting. Um, you're leaving me with no choice but to inform the court that um, you haven't reported to me and um, that may result in you going back before the court.